Oh, baby, the Kicker Circus has returned to Allen Park. You are Locked On Lions, your daily Detroit Lions podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What's happening, everybody? Matt Derry with you. It is a Thursday edition of Locked On Lions right here on the Locked On Podcast Network. A Thursday, July 20th into Friday, July 21st. Rookies have reported. Veterans are coming in. We got training camp starting up next week. First open practice to the public, July 29th. And it's Locked On Lions, a busy, busy Thursday down at 222 Rodwood Drive. We'll get into it. Coming up momentarily here on the show. Thanks to our everydayers who are out there watching or listening. We appreciate you being with us each and every day. Find us on Twitter at Dairy Speaks, at Locked On Lions, on threads at The Real Matt Dairy, Matt Dairy Facebook fan page where you can comment on the show, get the show every day. And also, shout out to those of you watching on our Locked On Lions YouTube channel. Please subscribe and watch for free uh, on our YouTube channel. On the show today, Michael Badgley is out. This kicking situation is just so weird. It's just so weird. So, yes, the money biger, B-Y-E, he gone, at least for now. He might be back. Also, the newest Lions wide receiver is here. We'll tell you about Denzel Mims. Some roster moves were made today by the team to get ready for training camp. And also, our first-time Lions Pro Bowl list, we are at number four. We count them down from five to one before we get training camp started. But uh, thanks for checking us out. If you missed yesterday's show, Ryan Matthews from prideofdetroit.com is with us. Please go back and watch it and listen to it as well. All right, so the news from last night with Denzel Mims coming to Detroit meant that the Lions today, and I want want to do today's news first, had to open up a roster spot for the newly acquired wide receiver. And we'll get to Mims in a second. But first things first, you know, in watching the show, and we've been doing this since 2016 or listening, that I've been on Brad Holmes about one thing. Brad Holmes has done a really good job. Lions general manager has come into town and helped change the culture, bring in good players, bring in good staff. Everybody seems to be on the same page. It's a really good outfit right now down in Allen Park, and Brad Holmes deserves a lot of credit. He's been good at identifying players, drafting players, keeping guys that weren't his, good players, and the Lions are building something here, and I think they're going to win the division. With that being said, when it comes down to the kicking situation, it has been a clown show from day one. Lions have tried just about everybody in three years, and nothing really has worked. Last year, Michael Badgley came aboard for the last 12 games after the Austin Seibert experiment, two-time experiment, and all Badgley did was make every extra point 33 out of 33, and hit 20 out of 24 field goals. He didn't kick during OTAs or mandatory minicamp because the Lions were apparently taking a look at XFL kicker uh, John Parker Romo, who's got a big leg and can really kick, at least from distance. And also they've brought back Riley Patterson, the former Lions kicker from a couple of years ago, uh, from Jacksonville. Today, the Lions open up the Mims roster spot by releasing Michael Badgley. So the roster's at 90. Badgley's a vested veteran, meaning that he doesn't go through waivers, so he's a free agent right now. Right? Nobody has to claim, nobody would claim him off waivers. He's a free agent right now, and if nobody claims him, he just sits there. So the Lions could bring him back. It's just an odd move, though, because the money badger wasn't bad last year and is more seasoned and is a better kicker, at least we think, than Riley Patterson or J.P. Romo. So what's going on here? It's weird. Um, Is Badgley hurt? That has to be the explanation. Didn't kick in minicamp. Didn't kick at OTAs. We thought it was to give the other guys a chance. Now it turns out Badgley might be damaged goods, uh, damaged goods. I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, at least for right now, Michael Badgley is no longer with the team. Uh, could he come back? Absolutely he could. 
Could the team go out and sign Robbie Gold or somebody like that? Um, Mason Crosby, formerly the Packers? Yes, they could. But this was a surprising move. You knew the Lions had to make a roster move in order to get Denzel Mims on the 90-man roster for right now. And instead, they get rid of one of their three kickers. This kicking situation has never been good since Matt Prater left. The Lions low-balled Prater a couple of years ago, and it was a mistake. And they've kind of been paying for it ever since. Now, with Dan Campbell and the way he likes to gamble and go for it on fourth downs, they really haven't needed a long leg and a, and a guy that you know can make 50, 60 yarders or whatever it is. But remember last year in Minnesota, Austin Seibert missed some deep kicks and it cost them the game. Uh, so we'll see on this kicking situation. But as of right now, it's down to uh, 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 J.P. Romo and Riley Patterson. So that's it. We'll see if Badgley comes back. There's a chance he does. Chance they've told him. Get healthy. We'll bring you back. Who knows? But as of right now, this is the Lions kicking situation. They needed to make a roster move for uh, bringing in Denzel Mims, and that's what they've done. The Lions have been so strategic in everything that they've done. When it's come to when it comes to their position players, you can tell how much Brad Holmes thinks about offensive line, defensive line, the secondary, and how they remade the entire secondary. Um, in this offseason, and I love those moves that they've made. I love them. But going back to 2021, this team has never been able to figure out what their kicking situation has been. Remember, uh, in 2021, when Brad Holmes got here, it was Randy Bullock uh, versus Matthew Wright, and neither guy made the team. Then Bullock ended up going to Tennessee and doing pretty well. The Lions had Austin Seibert for a while. They, they tried Dominic Eberly. They tried Rosas, Santoso. You know, two years ago when they were in Pittsburgh, they had the Steelers dead. They were going to win that game, and Santoso flubbed the field goal. They had Riley Patterson. Now they're bringing Patterson back. Why can't they just decide on one guy and find a kicker? Or, heck, many fans wanted a money moody from Michigan this offseason. Why not just draft a kicker? So maybe Brad Holmes just doesn't think the kicker situation or kicker uh, position is that important. But yet, they've uh, retained Jack Fox, the punt god, who's a fantastic punter. So, it's anybody's guess what is going on that down on down there at uh, down at 222 when it comes to the kicking situation. All right, the newest lion is here. We will tell you about Denzel Mims. I'm not going to do backflips, but I like that they're doing the trade the way they are with conditional draft picks. So, we will uh, discuss that coming up momentarily right here on Locked on Lions. We got to tell you, though, about our friends at eBay Motors. We love the fact that eBay Motors is with us here on Locked on Lions. And our partners at eBay Motors have teamed up with Locked on Fantasy Football host Vinny Iyer to bring you some of the best fantasy picks each week, both before the season and uh, during the season, all season long. Uh, whether you're prepping for a draft or scouting on the waiver wire, every week we're going to provide you players that are guaranteed to fit on your roster. So with draft prep underway for the upcoming season, let's see who Vinny uh, has picked out for us on this week's edition of eBay's Guaranteed Fit Fantasy Picks of the Week. Looking at the end of the first round, into the second round, maybe you got the last pick in the first, first pick in the second. Uh, what about Jonathan Taylor and Nick Chubb? Looking to make a smooth turn in fantasy uh, football snake drafts? With the last pick in the first round and the first pick in the second round, you're guaranteed to have a winning one-two punch of workhorse power in your backfield if you take the Colts' Jonathan Taylor and the Browns' Nick Chubb back-to-back. -back. Taylor's a perfect rebound candidate to have a great year last year in that run-friendly offense in Indianapolis. Chubb also set to set up to dominate again uh, with more of a combined workload in Cleveland. Nick Chubb and Jonathan Taylor. Vinny Iyer from Lockdown Fantasy Football going to help you, of course, like I said, with your fantasy championship. And eBay Motors knows a championship team is about each player being a perfect fit. Same with your vehicle, folks. Uh, with eBay Guaranteed Fit and over 122 million parts and accessories for your vehicle right at your fingertips, you can make sure your ride stays running smoothly. Air filters, brakes, batteries, taillights, alternators, 
shocks, struts, you name it, eBay Motors has it. And they'll make sure it's the right fit for your car because eBay Guaranteed Fit helps you understand exactly what part you need for your vehicle the first time. So go forth, switch gears, crank the AC, say goodbye to sweating if your car uh, needs a little fixing up because now you know you'll always be set up for success from the get-go with eBay Guaranteed Fit. Everything your vehicle is calling for is just a click away. For the parts and accessories that fit your vehicle, just look for the green check, get the right parts, the right fit, and the right prices at ebaymotors.com. Let's ride. eBay, guaranteed fit, only available to U.S. customers. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. All right, so the Lions do, in fact, add to their wide receiver room. That's right. Josh Reynolds, Amon Ross St. Brown, Tom Kennedy, Khalif Raymond, Marvin Jones, Jamison Williams when he's healthy. Heck, Jameer Gibbs will be out there at some point. Antoine Green, the catching machine, seventh round pick. Today or last night, but the Lions made it official today, they have traded a conditional uh, seventh round pick or excuse me, yes, the Lions have traded a conditional sixth round pick to the Jets for Denzel Mims, and they get back a conditional seventh round pick. It's a pick swap and a pickup for Detroit of Denzel Mims, the heading into his fourth year wide receiver from Baylor. Now remember, the Jets were looking to add anything and everything to help Aaron Rodgers out. Mims asked for a trade last year because once Robert Sala got there, He had been banished to the bench. He was inactive some weeks. Mims was a really good college receiver at Baylor. He's 6'3", has a lot of speed, but he's never panned out. He's never been good. Three years with the Jets, only 42 catches, um, and and really has been unhappy. Kind of a preseason star. He plays well in August, and then when he gets to the season, he really hasn't done much. The Jets, of course, jettisoned Elijah Moore to the Browns, and now... They have let Denzel Mims walk. He had asked for a trade last year. They didn't grant it. And then earlier in the week, the Jets were telling teams, trade for Denzel Mims, and if nobody wants him, we're going to release him. It was time for him to go. Lions need another receiver. Why not? Let's take a flyer on a kid who's still only 24, 25 years of age, has some speed, and needs a change of scenery. But here's what I'll warn Lions fans that are on Twitter or threads or wherever go, oh, Brad Holmes is the GOAT. Oh, Brad does it again. If Denzel Mims could play, wouldn't Aaron Rodgers have demanded that he was still on the team? And I get it. The Jets have added 17 Packer wide receivers, Randall Cobb, Alan Lazard. They have Garrett Wilson, right? They've drafted some guys. So the Jets are fine at receiver. But if Denzel Mims was anything of anything, wouldn't Aaron Rodgers have worked out with him already? thrown him the football a little bit, whether it was, you know, out in California or at the facility. Like I'm excited too, to see if Mims can stick. And if he just needed a change of scenery and maybe Ben Johnson needs to get his hands on this kid. But what is weird about it to me is he doesn't stay with the jets and the jets were doing everything in their power to give Aaron Rodgers every weapon possible. So we'll see. What's good about this move is it's conditional picks, meaning if Mims doesn't make the Lions and he's bad in the preseason, those six, that sixth and seventh round pick uh, pick swap goes away. So the Lions will get their sixth round pick back and the Jets will get their seventh round pick back. It's why they're conditional picks. It's a condition is he has to make the team. So, you know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you I'm some Denzel Mims expert. I watched some clips today he's got a lot of speed he made some big plays in 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 third and fourth quarters of the exhibitions in the preseason last couple years but it never worked out for him he's been a bust you're talking second rounder played at baylor a very good football school pretty pretty good football school and uh it just hasn't worked out so this flyer i like it i have no issue with it but my expectations are low because again aaron Rodgers would have wanted to keep him if the kid could play but Denzel Mims is going to stay, uh, or I should, should say, is going to join the Lions right now, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see where this whole thing goes, and if he uh, steps up and looks good, and the Lions have themselves uh, another weapon um, for this offense. 
Also, a uh, quick uh, roster uh, note and move today. Uh, your Detroit Lions have put Hendon Hooker on the NFI list. That's the non-football injury list. What that means is as long as he's on this list, he cannot practice. All right? He cannot practice. So training camps can open up uh, next week. Hendon Hooker will not practice yet. Still coming back from that torn ACL. Of course, you know, he said it was a nine to 10 month injury. He tore it in November. So it's going to still be some time for him, but the lions are covering themselves, putting him on the NFI list because if he has to start the year on that list, he won't count against the 53 man roster. So Hendon hooker, at least for right now is not on the active roster for training camp. All right. Uh, as expected, or as a promised, excuse me, let's go through our pro bowl list. First time lion pro bowlers. Who could they be? We told you two days ago, Cam Sutton comes in at number five. I'm going to tell you number four is coming up next. First, though, this episode is brought to you by Marg's Sparkling Margaritas. Look, you guys know I love a good drink. The minute I get done with this podcast, have some dinner with my wife. Going to have something refreshing, ice cold to drink to get the night started. Marg's has become my go-to drink. It's better than White Claws, better than High Noons. I love the sparkling coconut from Marg's. These margaritas are so good. They're refreshing, come in a can, ready to drink, and have become my go-to cocktail. Uh, crafted with real Blanco tequila, Marg's are clean, crisp, genuinely taste so good. And they got five unique flavors. So there's something for everyone to enjoy. Also, go to that website, sipmargs.com, and just type in where you live, and boom, you can find out where you can get these cocktails. I go up to the, uh, um, uh, one of the grocery stores, Nino Salvaggio's right there on Hall Road. Uh, and I get my Margs right there. Backyard barbecues, uh, tailgates. You're going to want to try Margs. They are amazing. Go to the website, SIP, S-I-P, Margs, M-A-R-G-S.com to find that retailer nearest you. Must be 21 and over to enjoy. Cheers and please drink responsibly. Check out Margs. All right, so let's count them down. We are down to number four now on our top five players that I think could be first-time Pro Bowlers as Lions this season. Again, Jared Goff, Jonah Jackson, Panay Sewell, Frank Ragnow, Amon Ross St. Brown, all have been Pro Bowlers as Lions, so they do not count on this list. It's players that I think can represent the Lions in Las Vegas later on this year or next year as Pro Bowlers. We told you Cam Sutton at number five checked in the other day. I think he's going to have a really good season, could be a Pro Bowl player. At number four, I'm going to put on the list David Montgomery, lot newly minted Lions running back who got a three-year, $18 million deal signing in free agency. Lions let Jamal Williams go and walk in free agency, end up signing with the Saints. They believe they've got a more complete back in Monty, David Montgomery. Can catch the ball in the backfield, had a really good First four years in Chicago, um, coming out of Iowa State, the pride of Cincinnati. This is a kid that uh, has really made something out of his career uh, after growing up so poor. And there's been some great stories about David Montgomery and, you know, never knew his his, his dad growing up. His mom moved him around a, a lot in Cincinnati, and now he's become uh, a really good football player. David Montgomery is an 1,000-yard rusher, rushed for 1,000 yards, um, Back in uh, 2021, um, 800 yard season or thousand yard season in 2020. He's only 26 years old, rushed for 800 yards last year and caught 316 yards worth of passes. And he's just a good football player. And everybody says he's a great teammate. And in this offense, run by Ben Johnson with Jared Goff and all of the play action and the speed out on the perimeter, when you get Jamison Williams back and you got Jameer Gibbs out there and Laporta up the seam. David Montgomery could have a very big year. And some sites have even said David Montgomery could be top five running back this year for fantasy. So, look, there's always that chance that he has a really big year, uh, ends up in the Pro Bowl, and represents the Detroit Lions. So I, I could see David Montgomery as a possibility as a first-time Pro Bowler, period. He's never made the Pro Bowl, even with Chicago, but with the Lions as well, especially in this offense, right? This offensive line is really good. The OC is excellent. And Montgomery's a really good player. Really good player. Solid. 
maybe not spectacular, but tough to bring down and I think has a chance to uh, have a really, really good year. So I put him on my list at number four of uh, in my top five possible first-time Lion Pro Bowlers. All right, we are back again tomorrow. We'll get you number three on the list. Again, if you missed Ryan Matthews from prideofdetroit.com yesterday, he was awesome. Uh, check that out. You can find us wherever you get your podcast. Tell your Lion fan friends. Like, if they don't know Locked On Lions, send them our way whether it's on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. We appreciate all of you guys for checking us out. And we are back again tomorrow right here on Locked Online. We'll see you.